Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and this is my guide on the Song from the Depths quest. Now, for this quest, there are no requirements or items needed in order to start it, however, recommended um, if you're a low level player, it might be worth bringing some food, you'll take some damage from acid at some point, um, and armor for lower levels is also recommended. Um, and there is a reward you can get from this quest, um, but you need level 80 constitution to get it. Um, so, obviously, you can wait to your 80 constitution before doing this quest, however, you can come back and get this reward which I'll talk about near the end. Um, but that is it for requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Port Serim Lodestone which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. If you don't have it unlocked and wish to unlock all the other ones as well, I have a guide which can be found in the description below and it's well worth having as uh, Lodestone network makes completing quests a lot easier. But from here we're going to head to the town of Rivington which can be found from the very west of where we are, um, so we're going to head in that direction now. As you arrive in uh, Rimington, you want to begin by speaking to Lucille, who you'll find in a house west of the Rimington well. Um, she'll be trying to wake up some men who are apparently muttering about the same things and cannot be woken from their sleep. One of these men is her husband, Waylon. Offer your help and to accept, but also mentions that the raptor came earlier to offer help, and Lucille gave the raptor a rest of sleep potion that allowed uh, one to enter the dream world. Um, so what you want to do, once you have the rest of the sleep potion, drink it and you'll enter into a dreamlike foggy state and your screen will change slightly, uh, but you'll still be in Remington. Um, be aware that wandering too far from the quest area will wake you up and you'll have to head back to Lucille for another potion. So leave the house and you'll see souls of men walking away and you want to follow them um, and then it goes north and then into an, a cave entrance, but obviously if you keep following the uh, spirits you'll see where they're going anyway. So, continue over the bridge in a cave and a haunting voice will begin to recount a tale to you, followed by the growl of the raptor. Um, obviously, continue through the cave and you'll find the raptor eventually and speak to him and he'll claim it's too late to save Waylon and the player cannot stop him, but um, he continues going through the cave anyway and you want to follow him through the door. Now, you'll find yourself in a maze and the haunting voice will help you find your way by singing as there's like little hints, but this is the directions you need to go in regardless. So, you want to go north, um, so it needs to go through the tunnels. Uh, so you want to go north, then you want to go west, then south, and then east. Um, if you go through the wrong way often enough, you'll find the dreaming souls walking through the correct pathways, but you can't go wrong there. Once you're through the maze, follow the dreaming souls through another door to a cutscene in which the souls walk through a doorway that disappears. So a percentage bar will be shown at the top of your screen. You need to make it reach 100% for the door to open. And to do this, you have to find two more symbols that look like the one you stepped on during the cutscene. You'll find one in the northeast corner of the room. Um, so obviously you'll see where I'm going now. And the other is the northwest, just a bit southwest of the wavy looking part of the ground. Um, easy as well. If you just keep running over every spot in the area, eventually you're going to find them anyway. Um, but after you've done that correctly, a doorway will form in a random corner of the room. And it's different for everyone. Um, enter it and you'll have to find three more symbols. You'll find one uh, west of the central fissure, west of the northern fissure, and between the central and eastern fissures. Uh, so again, just look where I'm going, you can't go wrong. And with every symbol you find, a voice will tell you a little more of the story, and another doorway will appear in a random corner and you want to enter it. So, follow the dreaming souls through another doorway and you'll enter a room with a cutscene with four elemental pots and a sapling and the haunting voice will help you. The main idea is to nurse the burning sapling back into a healthy tree. So, just to let you guys know so you don't get confused, if you examine each part and each doorway, it'll tell you what ones uh, are relating to what I'm about to tell you, so you can't go wrong. So, you want to take the burning sapling in the centre of the room and plant it in the water part, which is the southwestern one, dousing up the fire, and you want to walk through the water doorway to the northeast. Then, you want to take the dead sapling from the southwest part and put it into the living fungi part, which is in, on the northwest, and in, which will give the sapling life, and then you want to walk through the living fungi guide the way to the southwest. Now put the budding sapling in the ivy pot to the southeast, allowing it to grow quickly and walk through the ivy doorway to the west. And then finally put the healthy sapling in the cobweb pot to the northeast, giving it time to develop and walk through the cobweb doorway to the east. Um, Once you've done that, you'll now be able to go north and enter the doorway, and the cutscene will ensure where the dreaming souls fall down a chasm, and the raptor follows, and you want to follow them, and you'll be eaten by the Queen Black Dragon. 
that's it, game over. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, so inside, you want to follow the chasm through several openings. Uh, be careful not to step in the green acid since it will cause damage. And there's also level 2 grot worms and flying leeches. However, they're not aggressive. Um, obviously, if you're a higher level, you don't need to really worry about dodging the acid and it doesn't do much damage to you. But again, if you're a low level player and not got much food, take the time to dodge the acid if need be. Eventually, you'll find a siren imprisoned in a sack and placed under the illusion that she's still on her island. Uh, go through the cutscene and the dragon that ate you has apparently tricked her into singing other souls towards her. At first she won't believe you but um, eventually you'll um, confirm that she is obviously inside the queen dragon and she insists that you help her. So after the raptor comes in and intends to kill the siren and you obviously convince him otherwise, she'll tell you to grab the coral crossbow on the floor and burst the cyst, uh, causing the dragon to vomit the three of you out. Um, obviously this is going to make the dragon angry, so as you do this a cutscene will take place. So, after narrowly dodging the dragon's fire, you and the raptor would have made it out safely, and the raptor will say that you should go tell Lucille about the events while he goes off to kill the dragon. Um, he'll give you Remora's necklace, a coral crossbow and 50 coral bolts before heading off, um, and then you want to return to Lucille in Remington in order to finish the quest. So, after speaking to a with congratulations, you completed the song from the Depths Quest, you awarded one quest point, 700 constitution experience, a coral crossbow, 50 coral bolts, Remora's necklace, which you can use uh, teleport to the uh, lair of the Queen Black Dragon once a day, reduce incoming damage when fighting the Queen Black Dragon, two treasure hunter keys, and two hearts of ice. Um, now, there is also an additional reward uh, where you can gain the 30,000 constitution experience total from two ancient walls, uh, um, which I will show where to go with my main character. Now, he's already obtained this uh, from a previous um, completion of the quest, however, I can show you the spots where you find them. Um, obviously, if you aren't interested in where they are, I will say now, thank you very much for watching, please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 all the good stuff. But I'm sure most of you will want to know where to find it. So. What you want to do is enter the quest cave where the souls wandered near the previous part of the quest. Um, it's a entrance in the wall south of the Remington Mine. Now, you'll come up to an acid pole. This is what you require 50 constitution for. Um, you want to swim across it and it will take damage from you and go through the only door in the east. In the next cave, you want to go uh, via the following uh, exit. So you want to go west, south, east and north. Uh, once you do this correctly, you'll enter a room uh, you'll see there's some ancient writings on the wall just near to where you've entered. Uh, if you read it, you'll gain 5,000 constitution experience. And then you want to swim through the acid pole. Uh, this is what you require 80 constitution for. Um, it's to reach the other um, uh, wall writing. Uh, and you will take damage from swimming across it, but it won't kill you. And then read the second wall for the remaining 25,000 constitution experience. So in total there, you would have gained 30,000 constitution experience from the two ancient walls, so not bad at all actually. And like I said, if you don't have 80 constitution at the time, once you do eventually get 80 constitution, you can come back and do this, so it's not like it's going to expire, you just need to not forget about it really. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, I don't think you'll have any problems uh, completing this quest following this guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.